On this video for Premier Plasma, we're going to be taking a picture that a customer sent in and creating it into a bitmap and then ultimately creating a DXF file so the part can be cut out on the CNC plasma cutting table. So first we're going to look at the picture that the customer sent in. So this is going to be a uh, simple uh, bracket. Looks like it's going to have a uh, one inch hole. It's going to be about 4.3 inches tall and about 5.4 inches wide. So we're going to create this into a uh, cuttable file. So let's minimize that. We're going to want to go over here and open up Inkscape. We're going to hit New Document. Once you've opened up Inkscape, now you're going to want to go to File, Open. Looks like right here is our uh, customer request. Here it is. I'm going to open that up. This can stay the same. So there is our uh, part. Now we want to go up here to Path, Trace Bitmap. And then we'll get this uh, screen on the right side up here. Now you want to click once on the uh, picture itself. We're going to use a uh, brightness cutoff. We're going to update preview, which here it is right here. Now we're going to hit apply. Now you can see now it's, it's an image. It's not the best, but hey, it's there. But that's okay because it's going to be pretty easy to clean up. So now we can click on this uh, picture and hit delete or backspace. Now we're going to take this part here. We're going to go up to view, display mode, outline. Once we've done that, now we can go up here to path. We're going to click on break apart. Now this has been broken up into a bunch of different lines. Now what we want to do is push and hold the shift on the keyboard and then click once with the left clicker on your mouse on this outside line and then let's click on it on the circle with the shift key still pressed. Now we can let go of the shift key and now as long as we have these two uh, crosshairs shown with the mouse we can take and drag this over. Now we want to take, click once and drag from the bottom uh, right to the top left and highlight this stuff. And now we can hit backspace or delete. Then we can come over here and uh, highlight this again. Move this over. Now we can finish this part up here in uh, Inkscape, but we're going to transfer it to VACAD. It's just a little bit faster and easier. and. Uh, easier to scale also correctly. So from here we're going to go File, Save As, Customer Request. We're going to save it as a DXF. R12 or R14 will be fine. We'll save that. Another thing before we get out of Inkscape, earlier when we hit View, Display Mode, Outline, now when we close Inkscape and reopen it, it's still going to be under outline. So if you do bring a photo in, it'll just show a big red X through it. So to prevent that, you just want to hit normal before you get out. And now you can see right here. Here's our part, just solid normal. Now when we bring another part back in, which is going to be the customer request. It's going to show up correctly. Versus display mode's outline, then you're going to see the red X. So next, we're going to want to go and open up VACAD. Once your VACAD has opened, you're going to want to go to Edit, Import, DXF. We're going to import this as millimeters because Inkscape always exports as millimeters. Here's our customer request file. We'll open that up. 
Now you can see here it's not the cleanest on the bottom and the circle is not the cleanest either, but that's no big deal. What we're going to do is select our single line tool. We're going to come over here and try and select the lowest point. And the crosshair is right here. Click once. We're going to drag this out all the way to it lines up with this. So you can just click once on your mouse and then let it hover. And it'll give you your crosshairs. Now we're going to lower this until we get our intersect, which is going to mean our line is perfectly flat. We can tell here also by 180 degrees. We want to take here, connect it with this part. This end, we can take this, connect to this part. Now, the last thing is going to be uh, deleting everything else. So we're going to click right here, right inside, or right on the outside. Now we're going to use our mouse to zoom out. This is going to be the little middle uh, mouse uh, wheel. We want to highlight all this stuff. Now that this stuff is all highlighted, we're going to click and hold shift down on the keyboard and click once on our uh, solid single line that we laid earlier. Now that line should turn black after you hit uh, click on the mouse once with the shift press. You can let go to shift now and now you want to hit delete or backspace and it'll get rid of that part. Now we're going to want to scale this part. So the drawing to scale is going to be right about 5.48 inches. So we're going to draw a 5.48 inch line. Next, we're going to click on our selection tool. Go from the bottom right, click and drag to highlight this. Take our scale tool. We're going to click on this side of the line, click on the right side of our uh, part, and click on the right side of this line. Now it's been scaled. We can go ahead and delete this. Next, we're going to want to take and get our single one point. Do a one inch uh, diameter uh, circle. We're going to drop it right here. Click on our selection tool again. Now the best for this is just going to be kind of to even it up as best as possible. Now if you have different measurements from here to here, you can go ahead and use those. But for this, the customer said this would be fine. Now that that's selected, we can go back over here to our selection tool. Highlight this all. Press shift. And we're going to want to click on our one inch diameter circle. And this will deselect it. With the inside selected, we can hit backspace or delete. Now this part is going to be ready to be saved and sent to SheCam to be able to be cut out once the G-code is created. Now we want to go to File, Export, DXF, uh, version R14 we'll use. We're going to change this back to inches. We're going to hit OK. We name this Customer Request. Done. Now we're going to open up SheetCam. Once you open up SheetCam, you're going to want to go to File, New Part, we're going to Yes. There's our customer request done. We're going to open that up. Inches, bottom left. As you can see, the inside's yellow and the outside is red. So the yellow is going to cut first, and then the outside perimeter red is going to cut last. So now we can go to our uh, creating new jet cutting operation. Let's do this part at a quarter inch. Path rules. We're going to have none on this part. Lead in of arc at uh, 0.2 inches. We're going to hit OK. And now this part's ready to cut out. Go put it to the P for pulse process. 
save it and now it's going to be ready to be opened up in Mach 3 and cut out. Thank you for watching this video and hopefully this helps. Thank you.